welcome back to my channel. Today's drink is a simple pour over coffee with 1% milk and a little bit of azucar sugar. <laughs> so today I would like to do another little story time since I am on a roll with them. And for better or worse, I've had a very interesting experience in my almost 25 years on this earth. Today, I would like to talk about the time I almost joined a cult with my ex-boyfriend. Now, this specific ex-boyfriend is the father of my first son, and our relationship hasn't always been the best. I do have nothing but love towards this man, and I hope this story I will tell will display that and that there truly is no animosity on my side of the coin. So first things first, I would have to discuss how I met this man. I met him at Starbucks and he was just so handsome. He was blonde and blue eyed and bearded. And the first thing he said to me was, you're a goddess. Literally, those were the first things out of his mouth. So it was pretty much love at first sight for both of us. He moved in with me quickly. And this man was truly a visionary in a lot of ways. He had a goal and a dream of setting up a resort slash healing center on the big island of Hawaii. He actually had land there um, up in volcano slash fern forest. And he truly, truly believed he could do it. And I, I don't want to sound rude, but I naively believed in him as well. And let me explain. This isn't a slight against my ex. It was just kind of a preposterous sentiment and this project was doomed to fail from the beginning. As new lovers tend to do, sometimes stupidly, I quickly became pregnant with my first son and we decided the best bet was to move to Big Island and start this whole fantastical life together. Let me explain some of this man's philosophies that then influenced me. My ex was a raw vegan, or at least thought being raw vegan was the ideal. Um, he would still eat cooked foods occasionally, but for the most part, he was raw. And I, at the time, was a completely standard American diet person. Granted, I would do my best to eat healthy in smaller portions. I was a lot smaller than I am now. I still was eating a copious amount of animal products. So for me to be in a relationship with this man, I agreed to try out veganism and raw veganism. The reason why I am discussing this is to kind of get in a mindset, to get you in the mindset of what he was about. He also was very into this book called The Mucusless Diet Hearing S Healing System by, oh my gosh, I'm totally blanking on Eric. Arnold Eric is his name. He was, um, I believe, a German physician who believed our failing, our health failings as a human were due to mucus that was plugged up in our guts and colons. And mucus is from just bad food for us, processed grain, meats, um, starchy tubers. This is from what I remember. I haven't read the mucusless diet healing system in literally years, 
Um, he was also big into this Facebook group called the Mucusless Diet Healing System. The two proponents of it, the main ones, were... So, these two gentlemen's names were and are Brother Air and Professor Spira. Professor Spira at least was very active on YouTube. I don't necessarily believe these men are part of a cult. Possibly slightly, they, it can fit into the bite model, but the reason I am discussing the Mucus Society healing system is to let you know what kind of pseudoscientific beliefs my ex believed in. When we got to the land in Big Island, when I saw it, I started breaking down crying. And the reason why, it was completely overgrown with weeds three to four feet tall, sometimes even taller, like six feet tall, just across this entire acre lot. It was intimidating to say the least. And the fact that my ex thought he could transform this with very little money to some sort of wellness retreat, that's definitely a bit too lofty in my opinion. So my ex and I, we were living in his truck on the property Eventually, he was able to build a small makeshift cabin. To my dad, who has an architectural engineering degree, thought it was completely a shoddy worksmanship job. Granted, I'm not trying to shame my ex because the fact that he was able to do it at all is a feat of his own genius. We were friends with this woman who was a naturopath in the area who got a job at another known wellness retreat. I'm going to be very, very vague in this because I don't want to do a complete call out video like I did the other day. Now, this cult, I will actually call it a cult was a beautiful, beautiful property up in Hamakua. The man who was leading it was a doctor, quote unquote. He was one of those pseudoscientific So this man was a chiropractor who, in my opinion, was parading in the cloak of an actual doctor. The reason why I said say this is on his website, which I'm not going to link down below, he it just states doctor. It doesn't state doctor of chiropractic. And a lot of snake oil salesmen do this to make their credentials appear a lot more sound than they actually are. Now, what this man did is he would host fasting retreats in his beautiful mansion house on the Hamakua coast of Big Island. Now, um, these fasting retreats costed anywhere between five to fifteen thousand dollars for two weeks and he could hold I think ten people at a time and a lot of the people that would come to these fasting retreats were sick people who had cancer, diabetes, um, asthma, eating disorders too. Eating disorders. It, it was wild and completely unethical that he would try to heal these people through fasting. Now, I'm not going to knock the religious aspect of fasting and even intermittent fasting, I think could be very helpful for weight loss. I completely disregard 
that his idea that fasting is a cure-all for everything is correct in the slightest. How my ex got hooked up in this, he um, became his video editor because this man has a decent sized YouTube platform. I'm glad that his channel is no longer getting the amount of views it used to because it lessens the spread of misinformation, which he discusses. He got enamored and wrapped up into everything this doctor said. And a lot of it was really quite ugly, ugly things. Forget all the help misinformation that he would spread. He also made extremely anti-Semitic comments about how Jews ruled the world and all that BS conspiracy. He also was a flat earther. My ex became influenced by this. He ended up taking on a lot of these ideas and those ideas ruined the relationship. I honestly do feel this was a cult, even though it didn't perfectly fit the bite model. And here is why. This man would berate anyone that spoke out against his evilness. I remember the first time I met him and he was on a hate spew of Jewish people. I spoke up and said, you're completely wrong and anti-Semitic. And I was never invited back in the inner circle. This man can only be surrounded by yes man. And that is the approach he takes. Now, thankfully, my ex has left the um, cult and he also um, continues to now eat a well-rounded diet that also includes animal products. And I really do hope and wish the best for my ex. Now to recap, this wellness retreat took in very sick people with the false promise that they would heal them while extracting thousands and thousands of dollars from them. This man also has completely nonsensical and conspiratory views, which he pushes on his workers as well as his clients. I never directly got involved in it due to me being the outspoken human I am. Thank you so much for watching this little story time. Have a great rest of your day. Bye peaches. Stay hydrated.